So what is fusion? Fusion is the process that powers the sun and indeed all stars. And it happens when we take small, positively charged nuclei, as all nuclei are, bash them together, and that process produces a large nucleus which gets an amazing amount of energy. What happens first is we get them into a state which is a gas. When we heat anything up, it becomes a gas. But when we heat it even more, it turns out that gas becomes electrically charged. And that's what plasma is, electrically charged gas. And 99.998% of the observable universe is, is plasma. Ultimately, fusion offers us a source of energy which is essentially carbon-free and is safe and has a plentiful fuel supply. My name's Roddy Van, I'm in the York Plasma Institute and my area of particular plasma research is looking at magnetic fusion. So this is using plasma, the fourth state of matter, to ultimately create electricity. The York Plasma Institute is the 14 academics based here and our 40 or so PhD students and together we're an internationally leading research group across a wide range of, of plasma physics, science and engineering. My name is Zainab Abdullah, I am a postdoctoral research associate at York Plasma Institute. My work covers the investigation of conversion of CO2 into CO, and this has allowed for lots of application in environmental and industrial and even medical applications. The work that we do in fusion has good short-term impact outside the immediate fusion field. To take an example, I'm applying some of the techniques that we've used for imaging fusion plasmas to build novel medical imaging devices to image uh, tumours and so forth in, in the body. One of the things about science, particularly in the 21st century, is the fact that we're understanding that to do the best possible science, we need to look at the interfaces between various disciplines. It's the interface between research and training and education is where we get the most exciting ideas. And so for me, the experience of working with bright students and seeing when they come up themselves with a eureka moment is, I would say, the most exciting part of the job. It's never a straightforward process. You need to go through lots of difficulties. You have lots of problems in research which you need to find your way around it. So if you have the passion, then you will continue and keep trying until you solve the problem. Fusion really is a massive international effort. And when one makes a breakthrough in one's research, it is, of course, a tremendously exciting feeling. Not least because for the few minutes until you get on the phone and tell all your colleagues about it, you realise you're the only person in the world who knows a particular thing. And often it's a particular thing that actually does have some relevance to making fusion happen. Fusion is one of the few long-term solutions that completely solves the energy problem. And as it does that, it also solves the climate problem.